So <clears throat> if we do find a facility, we need to know if the market can support that facility, right? If we're looking for a value add property and uh, they have low occupancy when you take it over, we need to make sure that we can fill those garages. And then in order to feel confident doing that, we have to get a good idea of what the market currently looks like. So let me explain to you guys how we actually figure out what the supply and demand is. So I'm actually going to provide you guys with a couple links uh, in this, <coughs> excuse me, in this training that you can go use to figure out the population numbers in a given market. <clears throat> but let's say that you do your research and you determine that within a five mile radius of your facility, there's roughly 9,000 people. Well, that's going to be the population, but the what we're going to do with that number is we're going to take it and actually multiply it by eight. So if we in this example, if we took 9,000, uh, a population of 9,000 and multiplied it by eight, that would give us 72,000. I'll explain how this works and what we're going to do with these numbers. So once you have that number, now we need to determine how much storage is already in that market. So <clears throat> let's say that you find five other competitors within a five mile radius. What I would encourage you to do, uh, we use Google Maps because there's a measuring tool. So you can actually go to each facility and just measure the square footage and that's how you'll get your number. So again, let's say there's five other properties and you measure each of them and you get a total square footage of 15,000 square feet. Well, now what you wanna do with that number is also add in the square footage of the facility you're looking at. So let's say we do that and we get a grand total of 24,000 square feet. So for the example that we were using earlier, we would take that population number of 72,000 and we would just subtract it from the 24,000 square feet of storage and that'll give us a demand for 48,000 square feet of storage. That means that market can currently um, support an additional 48,000 square feet of storage. So if you find a property that has low occupancy and it's a value add, uh, this would be a good number, right? Because you know, or you can see that there's demand in that area. So you shouldn't have a problem filling those garages. Now, areas such as New York City, where they're really dense, um, you know, you want to be looking within a one mile radius of your facility. Uh, city suburbs, you'll use a three to five mile radius. More rural areas, you can go five to seven mile radius. 